This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Woven Heart. This design is stitched by first starting in the center of your quilting space with a circle, and then you're going to work your way around the circle with a series of petal shapes. Just kind of stitch up and around to form a teardrop shape. And everyone does this a little differently. Um, if you feel like it, you can space these evenly. Just go on ahead and just stitch petals one by one. Or an easier way, which I like to do, is to stitch a one going straight up, one going to the left, one going to the right, and one going straight down, uh, because that's just a little easier to space them, so that way you get eight perfectly evenly spaced petals. So now let's start the second part of the design, and that is to create the woven flower effect. And what you do is you first stitch up with these internal echoes and stitch back to that starting point, starting circle. And then you come up with another set of lines kind of coming in and around that petal in the opposite direction to create that woven effect. So you can see I'm just coming up with that first set of lines. I hit the inner petal and then echo back. And then now I'm coming up with a second set of lines. I hit that side and I echo back again. And it creates a very nice, very subtle woven appearance. And uh, what I was going for is just trying to experiment with uh, stitching the lines, overlapping the lines, and seeing what effects that that created. You can see when you arch it too much, you don't get as nice of a woven effect. So you want to kind of play with this. You know, see how much of a curve you need to go, or if you just want to hit the top part of that pedal, kind of like at a maybe 11 o'clock position, or you know, what what is going to give the best effect for you. And I think it's just going to be something that you just kind of have to play with and experiment with in order to find the motif that you want to create. But it does create a very beautiful flower shape. And if you wanted to, you could leave it right here. Just continue to fill in each petal with these lines until they're woven. But what I did was work my way around each petal shape with an extra echo. And you can see I just kind of bounced around going all the way back to that center circle. Uh, expanding each shape and I continue to do that until the entire quilting space was filled however that is not required certainly not required you could use another design you could fill in with uh, pretty much any design any independent design any pivoting design or echoing design from the project to fill in that background area and make a much more interesting motif out of that flower and here's what it looks like whenever you finish woven flower for over 350 videos on free motion quilting, please check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.